these fucking leaks are just coming out of nowhere. So you guys know how I covered that 4chan leak from yesterday, right? Well, there's a brand new leak. However, this one holds a lot of credibility because apparently it comes from a Nintendo employee themselves. Now, of course, a lot of people can claim this, but the fact of the matter is, is that we have My Nintendo News, which is a very prestigious Nintendo News reporting website, which is putting their full backing behind this leak. That adds a lot of credibility to it. They're saying that it came from an employee of Nintendo who's from the German region. I mean, well, Germany, and they translated the leak from him into American, so now we can, well, not American, English, now we can understand exactly what he was saying. The thing that stranges me out a little bit is, like, do we get any kind of real confirmation? I mean, I guess, you know, My Nintendo News, they do their research, and it's not just My Nintendo News, it's Neil Goff as well, too, although way less reputable, I suppose. But still, the fact of the matter is, is that there's a brand new set of leaks, which has nothing to do with the 4chan one that I covered yesterday, but the odd thing about it is that this set of leaks, this brand new set, is actually saying that the leaks, I mean, that the direct is going to happen on April 1st. So it's kind of funny because now we have basically the same date for both of these leaks, but one is going to be real, one is not. So which one is going to be real? Obviously, the one from the employee, the one that I'm about to cover right now, does have the most credibility. Either way, let's take a look at exactly what's being said on my Nintendo News about this brand new set of leaks, which is going to be happening apparently on the same date as the 4chan one. So this is a rumor. Okay, so my Nintendo News, they're not fully backing it, but they're just reporting on it. This is a rumor, and I'm not exactly entirely sure of its legitimacy, but here we go. A number of you have contacted me regarding information about the Nintendo Direct, which was supposedly leaked by a German Nintendo Europe employee. So a German Nintendo Europe employee. This post has been translated into English, and here's the content contained within. Now, the thing about this is that this is also confirmed on NeoGoff as the following rumor. Take a look at this. The following rumor has nothing to do with the one from 4chan. Apparently it comes from an employee from Nintendo of Europe. The rumor is in German, so here goes the translation. So what we have here is out of nowhere suddenly, some employee in Europe decides to just leak what's going to be happening in the direct, but apparently it's for the same date as the leak from 4chan. So I mean, does the 4chan leak have no legitimacy? I wouldn't say that right away. I mean, I don't believe either of these. Well, I mean, I haven't even read this one yet, so we're going to see what's in this one now, but so far, you know, I'm kind of babbling on. Let's keep going with this new leak. Iwata apologizes again for the Zelda delay and announces a new title for the Wii U, which will release in the winter 2015 instead. Okay. Paper Mario, working title, first trailer sewn, uses the best parts of the four titles of the series and developed by Intelligent Systems, more info at E3 2015. Okay. Does it tell us? Oh, yeah, oh no, it's telling us the, um, is the Paper Mario going to be the title for the Wii U that Iwata is going to be announcing instead of Zelda Wii U? I'm not sure. Um, let's keep going here. Wait, let me make sure my hair is Okay, let's keep going here. Um, Pokemon Rumble World will be presented. Releases on April 17, 2015 in the Nintendo eShop for Wii U and Nintendo 3DS. The game supports the Pokemon Amiibo from Smash Bros. Collection. That sounds very practical. Super Nintendo Entertainment System titles will be released in the eShop, the Wii U eShop, and we'll get GB and GBC titles. Wait, 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 no. Wait, um, SNES titles will be released in the 3DS eShop. The Wii U eShop will get GB and GBC titles. Okay, so Game Boy and Game Boy Color titles. There will be some crossplay for um, VC titles already bought, which are available on both systems, virtual console. Um, my note is if you bought one game on 3DS, you can also play it on your Wii, you know, you need to buy it twice. Okay, that's fine. Okay, they'll be released after presentation. Okay, that's fine, you know? I mean, the, the, the fact of the matter is, is that there's a lot of people that did like a lot of these classic games to be on their 3DS, and now they will be, so that's good to know. The Wii U eShop will get Game Boy and Game Boy Color titles, and the 3DS will get the SNES titles. The web eShop will be presented. Wait, whoa, wait, 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 whoa, whoa, okay. The web eShop will be presented. You can, there'll be a web eShop? Developed by Nintendo and DNA. You can log in with your Nintendo ID and use the normal eShop functions. If the console is in standby, games bought on the eShop will be automatically downloaded. <gasps> We're getting an app store via internet browser? The web eShop will implement both the web e the web eShop will implement it, both the Wii U and 3DS eShop. Plan launch April 2015. Holy crap. 
Guys, do you know what this means? We, we, we'll be getting a web eShop, apparently. I mean, this this leak has more legitimacy than the one yesterday. So I'm getting excited now because I like the idea of that. The fact that they now have a web eShop, so there will be your Nintendo Network ID account connected to there, and you'll be able to remotely download stuff to your 3DS if it's in standby mode. I love that concept, and it sounds like something that would really bring the 3DS and Wii U infrastructure up to date a little bit more to the most common, I mean, to the, to the standards of the um, next-gen consoles right now. This is definitely something needed. I love that functionality on the App Store and Android, just be able to go to the App Store, choose an app and download straight to your phone without you even having to touch your phone. I love that. Um, new functions, let me, let me zoom this in a little bit more. Here we go, perfect. Thank you, that's, that's a lot better. New functions for the eShop, pre-orders. Customers will be able to buy games months in advance and will get a 10% <laughs> Baby! Yo, all right, I'm loving this. This is sounding like a step forward for Nintendo and the Nintendo um, ID, network ID system thing. The amount will be charged on launch. Okay, let me, let me read this paragraph again so that way I can fully understand what I'm reading because I'm, I'm kind of like going a million miles a minute. I need to slow it down, relax, and take in all this information bit by bit. New functions for the eShop. Pre-orders. Customers will be able to buy games months in advance and will get a 10% discount. The amount will be charged on launch day or the day the preload starts. The first games will be available following the presentation. Splatoon, so we can preload Splatoon and get a 10% discount, I hope? I don't know if they'll do the 10% discount on a game that's coming out so soon, but... Splatoon, we can be... You know what? This doesn't guarantee a 10% discount or a preload on anything like Splatoon right now, since it's so close. But one thing that it does guarantee is that you can pre-buy the game online on the eShop. And you can do that through the web browser and get the game downloaded to the Wii U whenever it's ready to preload. Kirby and the Rainbow Paintbrush, okay, codename Steam, that's fine. Puzzles and Dragons, okay. So I mean, hey, holy crap, that's, this is exciting. This is definitely exciting. I like all these steps forward and functionality. That's what really excites me, you know? And the fact that you'll be able to get a 10% discount, this is exactly what people were asking for. And I'm glad that Nintendo's finally been the first people to oblige with it. Although, actually, I didn't do my research on this topic, so don't quote me on this one, but I don't know if Sony or Microsoft have given discounts on downloadable titles before. I don't know if that's happened, or if they've given you a discount on downloadable titles that you purchased in advance before the games came out in the first place. I know they let you preload, but I don't know if they give you a discount, 10%. So, hey. Um... Amiibo Gallery will be presented. With this app, gamers can use their Amiibo already used on the console to look at them in a gallery. Okay, that's kind of cool. There you can take pictures of them and show them in the Miiverse. There is also a mode called Origins, where you scan the Amiibo via the NFC reader. You'll be able to play a segment of the first game the Amiibo appeared in. My notes, if you scan Link, you should be able to play a part of the first Legend of Zelda, my, is my understanding of this. This app will be available for free in May 2015 for Wii U and 3DS. I'm thinking right away, so what if I scan a Shulk Amiibo? What am I going to be, be playing, you know what I mean? Holy crap, this is this is exciting. This is really exciting news. This is this is something, this is, a, this is a step forward. This sounds a lot more like what would be in a Nintendo Direct. A lot more in your face, not too wild, but still great stuff. N64 games will be available in June 2015 in the Wii U eShop release list. Holy crap! N64 games, dog! Oh my god! Oh my fucking god! Can you believe it? Okay, I'm getting excited as if this list is confirmed real, but I mean, it has a lot more credibility, so can you blame me for getting so hyped about this? June 4th, Super Mario 64 and The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time for the Nintendo 64 for Virtual Console on the Wii U. If you buy one of the games until June 11, 2000, I mean, 23, okay, you get the other one for free, okay. That's great, so Ocarina of Time will be on the Wii U Virtual eShop. And you'll be able to buy Smash Brothers, the original Smash Brothers, that's great, I love it. The games support widescreen and upscaling to 720p, very nice, but they'll just stretch it out, right? So it's not really gonna be like they're converted to native 720, but they'll probably just stretch them out. Support all controllers and off TV play. Very nice. Price 10 euro per game. Owners who already bought the game on the Wii e on the Wii Shop can upgrade for two euro. Okay, so that's good because I know some of those games were available on the eShop. Iwata passes on to Satoru Shibata. 
Mario Kart 8 DLC pack on launch. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, I don't really care too about too much about Mario Kart 8. I'm sorry guys, I don't mean to be offensive, but this will be in the description. Puzzles and Dragons, okay. Yoshi's Woolly World will be released on June 26th in Europe. Trailer shown, limited edition with knitted Yoshi releases on the same day. Okay. Azor Strike Gunvolt releases after the presentation on the 3DS eShop. My note, a leak showed this title scheduled for April 2nd. I need to look up what this game is because it sounds badass, but I don't remember. I don't remember, just from the name. Nintendo Anime Channel will be announced on the Wii U on April 9, 2015. Nintendo Anime Channel? Nigga, what the hell is that? Project Zero Five will be localized. Will release later this year in Europe. What in God's name is a Project Zero Five? I really, I mean, of course, like I've explained, wait, wait, what is this? Is this a horror game? Is this a fucking horror game? Oh, Fatal Frame. Okay, I've heard of Fatal Frame. Okay, okay, I understand that. Next Remix Pack retail will release on June 5th in Europe. Boy Boy releases on April 8th in the 3DS eShop. The App Collectible Badge Center will be available for 3DS after the presentation. Wii lineup for the Wii U eShop includes April 2nd, Pandora's Tower. April 23rd, um, Sin and Punishment, Successor of the Skies. Okay, very nice. Uh, May 14th, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. This is great because I was just talking about how I didn't really get a chance to play too many of those GameCube or Wii titles. Like, well, Skyward Sword, Skyward Sword was definitely Wii, I think. But I mean, I never really got a chance to play those games because I didn't really have a Wii. Still, this is great for me. So now it'll be a lot easier to get my hands on these. Trailer with upcoming games for Wii U and 3DS shown. Okay. Lego Jurassic World, okay. Final Fantasy Explorers will be localized and released at the end of the year in Europe, okay. Splatoon will have support for Amiibo. Everyone was pretty much anticipating this. I saw that it was kind of like a thing that was pretty much announced as it is, but um, but I don't, I don't know if it was announced, but a lot of people were telling me, like, Etika, that's actually not that big of news because we kind of expected it. So, I mean, special Splatoon Amiibos where you can save your inkling and take to your friend with selected other Amiibo, you can unlock special gear. And this is the same thing that we heard from the 4chan leak, so I'm guessing that that information was out there already. Next Super Smash Bros. Amiibo Wave will be available June 12th, 2015. Newcomers are Ganondorf, Jigglypuff, Palutena, Zero Suit Samus, Falco, and Duck Hunt Duo. These characters are gonna go so fucking fast. The Ganondorf Amiibo will be compatible with High World Warriors and unlocks a new weapon for him. Which one that will be will remain a secret until later. A software update which will unlock this function will be released on June 12th. Okay, very nice. The Amiibo functionality, once again, Nintendo gets accolades on that. Rusty's Real Deal Baseball Series will release on April 24th in Europe. Yokai Watch will be localized and released later this year in Europe. God damn, Nintendo, if this is real, they're packing this shit full of content. Holy crap. Star Fox Horizon is shown with the first trailer developed by Nintendo, the AD of Platinum Games. Please don't spam Kamiyama if it's true, just wait. Will be released in quarter 3, 2015. More information at E3. Devil's Third will be released in August 2015. New trailer. This is great. More Star Fox. That's awesome. I never really played too much of the series, and I think this is a great time to start since I do have a lot more free time now. Yawada says goodbye, and Masahiro Shakurai. Now, Daddy Sakurai shows up for the one last announcement. Ah, uh, nigga. I think I'm about to lose my shit, nigga. Mewtwo DLC for Smash. Wii U and 3DS gets a new trailer, will be sent to the buyers of both games on April 9th, 2015. Oh my god. Mewtwo DLC, wait, let me read through this again. Mewtwo DLC for Smash. Wii U and 3DS gets a new trailer, will be sent, I wish, I, I wish the grammatical errors weren't so present, but it is roughly translated from German, so I mean, that's understandable. Wii U and 3DS gets a new trailer, will be sent to the buyers of both games on April 9th, 2015. You will get two download codes, one for the Wii U and one for the 3DS. Oh my god, so if this is true, then we're getting used to in fucking less than two weeks. My fucking body can't handle this, man. Holy shit. You will get two download codes, one for Wii U and one for 3DS. Gamers who have not bought and registered both games will have the chance to buy the DLC in June. Damn, guys. So if you didn't buy Mewtwo, you're gonna have to wait a long time. But then how will it work if, like, I'm fighting somebody with my 3DS version of Smash Brothers who didn't have locked Mewtwo, but I have Mewtwo. Will they still be able to fight me? Probably. Um, on this day, there will be an available software update which will add a Miiverse stage, sharing system, and tournaments. There will also be new music, trophies, and elements for the stage builder. Very nice. Sakurai says thanks to the fans for their patience and says goodbye. Length of the presentation is 39 minutes. Starts April 1st, 2015 at uh, 3 um, Central Eastern Time. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know these time zones, but I mean. All right, so basically, guys, there's a lot of content 
to talk about in this. This is a lot of stuff here. The fact that we have just, just this is a lot of content to keep track of, man. But the things that definitely excite me the most are, of course, definitely the um, the updates on the Mewtwo situation, and then next off, the little tweaks that they're doing to the um, to the eShop to make it a lot more user friendly. It's definitely a welcome change. And the biggest thing I feel like on this list will be the fact that you can pre-buy games, have them preloaded, and you get a 10% discount on them. That is big news. So I, I'm wondering if that will all apply to Splatoon, which is coming out really soon. Most likely it will, or maybe, I, I really don't know to be honest with you. I mean, I don't know. We're so close to the release date of Splatoon because they're saying May, and we're basically in April now. So I mean, I can hope, we can definitely hope you know, a 10% discount on pre-bought games and get them preloaded too whenever they can become available to get preloaded. That's amazing. Saves us so much time. And hey, man, there's just a lot to be excited about with this. A lot. Good God. Wow. A Pokemon, a Nintendo anime channel. Like, dog. This list, this list is, has, it has so many things which are kind of like questionable, but sound like a move that Nintendo should be making in the right direction. I like this list better than the 4chan list, that's for sure. I want this one to be real, I really do, but at the end of the day here, we're not really gonna know shit until April 1st, so keep your eyes on Nintendo. Keep your eyes on Nintendo's Twitter, keep your eyes on whatever kind of social media outlet that they use, because if this list is true, then tomorrow, or even later on today, we're going to get an announcement from Nintendo saying that there is a direct happening. And if that's the case, and it's scheduled for April 1st, if Nintendo comes out today and says, hey man, we got a direct planned, and guess what, it's on April 1st, then my niggas, start the high train up. Get some coal, get some coal, Put it in the engine and start the wheels rolling on the hype train for this one. Because we already, we're already riding the Mewtwo hype train right now. We need another train to beat us at that station because there's just not enough. There's, there's, there, this train is already full. This hype train that I'm on right now, this shit is already full. Nobody else can get on this. But with this shit, with this shit, you're going to need another train. So I'm saying prepare your anuses, man. Prepare your fucking anuses. This shit is getting serious. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.